Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 48 of Nino Kuni. Yeah, okay. Alright, so here's the deal. I'm actually going to swap around some familiars. Because uh, Oliver really likes these. Um, I figured I might as well group some familiars, certain familiars, with uh, some familiars that characters really, really like. Like Swain likes robots. Uh, uh, Swain really likes that guy. Uh, Eris won't do good, I guess. Nah, Mega Man X would do good on this front. Uh, Babanaphone really likes that. This, she likes that. And he likes that. And he likes that. Uh, you can basically tell which character really likes that familiar, really likes that certain type of familiar by the way they're bouncing on whenever you're trying to switch familiar. So it's pretty good in that regard. It's pretty good. How did I get a double sign wisp? wisp? Okay. <laughs> I guess I could get, like, you know, better stats with that. Also, how did I get a double stat? A double star beachhead? How did I even do that? I don't know how I do any of this. Um, upon reflection of my practice file, I've no I did realize that uh, I probably won't do any good with uh, uh, some guy. <laughs> so I won't evolve these familiars just yet. They're good as they are. But is everybody else good actually? Cause you like that. I mean, Oliver's good. Uh, are you? Well, Swain really likes that. I think I'll rotate in uh, Wispy Wood in a little bit. You know, just to get him trained up a little bit. Anyway, enough talk. Let's ride. Okay, so we have some bounty hunts to take care of today, and. We shall go over to the places that, you know, we need to go in order to hunt them down. So, let's head off to places that we've never been to before. And first things first is this island called Swan Island. But now, before anything else, let's see what Seek Fortune can do. All right, so basically just like chart chests, you can now see, you know, treasure chests on the overworld. So that is really, really convenient and cool. And believe me, there are a lot of hidden treasures. They're all helpful, yes. But there are so many of them. There's just so many of them. I mean, not that I'm complaining, mind, but there's just a lot to cover. There is... There is definitely a lot of ground to cover with these. So, in these areas where the bounty hunts are, we're going to take care of these, you know, chests first, and then we're going to go after the hunt. Or we're going to go on the hunt, as you probably mentioned. Finn, stop! Scratching at my door again, because that's just what he does. And also, apparently, because I, I have to have dogs in, in, like, in all my Let's Plays now. And streams. Alright, so in that hidden chest, we got two sun drops. And, uh, you can get a Dumbleiner here, but nope! <laughs> nope! If you want a simple way of avoiding enemy encounters, just call Tangri. You can very easily avoid enemy encounters that way. And there's no way I'm not going to avoid this. <laughs> so, I'm going to ease my way over to this hit next hidden chest, actually. Because it's right over there. And thankfully, we can land there. And get it! Yes! 500 Gs. And that's it for the... Wait, is that it? Is that it? I want to make sure. Uh, no, there is there is one more. Okay. Now keep in mind you can't call Tengri from everywhere. You can only you have to make sure that you're in the wide open space in order for you to call Tengri. And I think the uh, 
I think the hidden chest is right here. Yep. Two Ruby Ripple Ice Creams. So, you can already basically see that all these treasure chests are going to be very much worth your time. There's a lot of them, but they are all worth your time. Okay. So now with all that done, we got a hunt to do. And uh, you can get certain evolved familiars here, like you can get the sprites, you can get the upgraded sprites here. Definitely. Wow, I'm too strong for them. I'm definitely, I'm definitely way too strong for any one of them. Or at least that one. Anyway, Dusty Fug. This guy's not really that bad to deal with. Uh, so I'm going to see how Arachnel does with, uh, with his new buddy. And, wow, three attacks in, and, wow, two, four attacks in, and he missed. You should be, you should be actually kind of sort of ashamed of yourself, buddy. <laughs> you should be a shamed. Okay, so, let's see. Well, as with the, as with the previous bug that we fought, uh, he has weak to storm damage, so you can definitely work that out for yourself. And, uh, let's just keep on using, you know, really strong attacks just to keep them, you know, just to keep the damage going, shall we? Okay. So, I'm actually going to bring out Slifer here for a bit. Just to use, just to use that really, really good physical attack that he's got for, like, a few seconds. And, uh, you know what? Let's actually bring out, let's actually switch over to Swain. Uh... There is no, uh, stealing anything from bounty hunts. Definitely, because they don't have any items, no matter how many, no matter how much you try to steal with Swain. So, that's unfortunate, but, you know, you got plenty of items now, thanks to the hidden chest. You're okay. Probably. Okay, good. I would get that plasma ball out as, uh, you know, Ares has to recharge. Oh, yeah, also Sword, Sword Circuit could do something. <laughs> and by that, I mean in the lowest common denominator of eh. Like, Jesus Christ. How does that even work? Oh, foul breath. Oh, God. Uh, I think that just... Oh, it's just debuffs. I mean, debuffs, that's obviously, like, a really, really bad thing. Plus, I can't really do, like, much damage to it. I can still get nices, though. Definitely, but... I won't be doing as much damage, you know, unfortunately, so it's... It's a bad. It's a bad. I mean, at least I can still take advantage of uh, weaknesses and just, you know, keep on doing it like that. I mean, thank God he's almost dead. <laughs> no, not Oliver, because don't thank God he's almost dead, but... Thank God, you know, the Dusty Fug is almost dead. Because I really got nothing more to say about him other than the fact that he could, you know, debuff you and also the fact that, you know, he's just, you know, a Fug, but much more aggressive and in your face. Also, can you hit? <laughs> that feel when you realize that Esther gets the kill is kind of sad. When Arachno couldn't even hit, and also Mega Man X couldn't even hit. Maybe that's the problem with my team, is that they can't really, you know, hit the big boys. And at level 36, Wayne learns Sure Shot. So, that basically means that no matter what, uh, if you use a Sure Shot, that'll basically mean he'll get a nice every time. Think of it like Oliver's Pulse. So, that's cool. All right, so with that, we got basically everything on Swan Island that we can, you know, do. Oh, yeah, and also you can get Strongos here. That's basically, you know, the upgraded version of, you know, Go of Esther's familiar Gogo that she had at the beginning when she joined up. So that's cool. Uh, actually, I'm going over this way. And see... See, look, now things are going to be a whole lot easier thanks to us having the ability to fly, you know, faster with uh, the Flapjack, you know, merit reward. So that's really, really good. 
All right. Now, whatever you do, don't land here unless you're ready. Because there are really, really strong familiars at that point at, ding at the Rolling Hills, and you will be dead. You will be dead. Basically, because there are fully evolved familiars there. And there's absolutely no way that you could be able to survive that. Believe me, there is no way. Okay, so uh, I believe our next bounty hunt that we can take care of is at Skull Mountain. Um, I feel kind of bad, actually, because we don't... Because we haven't really taken care of, you know... Or gone over, like, most of the familiars that we... That we can possibly get here. So I'm going to take the scenic route and actually, you know... See what we can do. Plus there are hidden chests here, so we can... Just basically get the chests along the way. So... Yeah. Coolios. Also, we already gone over you, Bighorn. Alright, 500 guilders. And... Nope. That is easily remedied. I mean, technically, I do need to heal, but who cares? But who cares? We can just get hidden chests along the way, so that's cool. Alright, so over here... We get ourselves a star drop. See, all these hidden chests, they will add up, and I'm betting betting just like getting every hidden chest just basically equals a trophy. But really, who cares? You get like a whole bunch of good items! Oh, spit two again. Sp spit two again. Okay. <laughs> So, my guess is that these are the upgraded versions of some familiars that we've seen before. Or a familiar that we've seen before. So, that is pretty cool. And there's that sure shot at work. See how good it works? Works good. Alright. So, Esther, why are you just using your regular attack? And also, um, um, Slifer, buddy! Buddy, Slifer, how are you not... Yeah, that's kind of like the one thing with these big familiars. Even though they do hit hard, they're inaccurate as hell. And when you have to walk over them, it just wastes valuable time. It really does. And as a result, some of your attacks will just fail. So that's just kind of an unfortunate side of being able to attack, you know, big, but be unable to hit a lot. Anyway, we can just skip over to here. Because this in chest has a cappuccino. So once again, that will restore uh, 70 MP. Rather, and is a lot better than strong coffee, which is 30. Okay, I'm dropping off here because there is a bounty hunt over here. And we got to make sure that this guy is sent to the Shadow Realm. Or killed. My guess is that we're going to kill him. Uh, I don't really have to worry about... Uh, actually... Hmm. No, I'm, I'm saving cappuccinos. I'm saving them. So, I might as well use strong coffees to restore Oliver's MP, actually. And uh, speaking of which... Uh, let's see what our equipment has. Well, uh, I do want the increased defense, though. But that attack and that accuracy and evasion decrease, though. Ugh. Really, the only way you're going to get these, uh, these familiars to be the best that they can be is just to make sure that you have, you know, the proper accessories for, you know, the heavy, the more heavier familiars, actually. So I'm going to update everybody's equipment and see where it goes from there. I'm only going by recommended. So that's... Wow. <laughs> I can't even... I can't even do that. Uh, since I'm actually going to be using uh, Wispy Wood in the future, I might as well. Uh, Tiger Claw, I... 
guess you can actually be a part of the team. I mean, why not? And Zombie you, you have a lot more to do with than, you know, any other familiar in the reserves. You should... Everybody else should be ashamed. Tempestus Majora. Let's do it. Let us do it. So, let's do it. Alright. Fling flame to do it. Yeah. Okay, so as you can imagine, this is basically more or less a stronger version of that one bounty hunt that we had to deal with in Autumnia. Basically, just use fire attacks and you should be good. Since that's what it's weak to. Now I'm actually going to do the honorable thing and actually use WoW for this. Because he can hit. He definitely can hit for damage. Unlike, um, unlike, uh, you. I mean, as I say that, now you'll be able to hit, like, twice in a row. And you miss all the other times. Why are you missing all the other times? <laughs> oh my god, why? I avoided that because I did. <laughs> because I retreated. Um, very thankfully, there are two types of tricks. I should probably, I should have probably just mentioned this beforehand, but since I didn't really have the time to do it, I might as well mention it right here and right now, is, uh, those tricks that have, that contain an animation, you do have to defend against. However, if, if it's, like, just a simple area of effect, like, uh, Bubble Bath or Hot Huff, that certain enemies can do, then you merely need to just dodge out of the way. So where you are in battle actually actually does matter. So that's actually kind of cool. All right, let's see how much a sling stone can do. 37 is what how much a sling stone can do. And uh, we can't really use... No way we can use uh, Snowball on that, because, you know, that will just resist it. So it's Body Blast all the way, baby. Body Blast all the way. And we have no such uh, MP to do so yet, again. So attack for single-digit damage, you! Do it like you mean it. At least you can hit! I'm being mean to everybody today. <laughs> Wow, uh, Mega Man X, you're not doing anything. Now you're <laughs> you were just standing there for like a few seconds and being like, oh my god, what do I do? You're just like, oh god, how do I do? How do I do things? I might as well get some accessories though, because, you know, these... Because really, that's the only way these big familiars are going to be a whole lot stronger than, you know, normal, actually. Like, raising accuracy or whatever, el or whatever else stats I could possibly use. And there we go. There's the hunt done. And as Oliver runs away like a puss, uh, Mega Man X and Eris get level ups. Alright, our bounty hunt is complete. But our time here at uh, the Barrens hasn't really been, you know, done yet. Because as you would expect, we have hidden treasure chests to do. Poisoner's Horn. Uh, seek Fortune again. It'll cost 3 MP to use, but it's all worth it. If it's for anything like, you know, what we're finding here, then who cares if it costs MP? And you already see what I mean about uh, Seek Fortune being one of the best spells you could possibly use. It's, it's because you can find some really, really, really cool stuff. Technically, you don't really have to do it. You can... Just basically go through the whole game without even, you know, using this thing. But, I would really, really recommend that you use it at least once or twice. Because some of the stuff that you can get here is absolutely ridiculous and really, really cool. Definitely. So, you can just basically spend your time all over the world just trying to get... Just trying to get all these that... All these the best that you can, basically. Alright, so we have Hot Cog and Bigger Boggle. So, once again, these are upgraded versions of familiars that we've seen before. So, if you didn't get the chance to do it, there's your chance to get it now. Because that's basically what I say throughout this entire thing of... Uh... Slash Dance! Mine! Mine! 
mine, mine. And I swear, if we get, if we have the chance to actually tame a familiar through this method, then I'll be amazed. No, we don't. Oh well, I should get some money and confusion be gone out of it. So yeah, all that's really, really cool. And uh, where's the, where's the last bounty hunt? It's on Billy Gold Scuff. Oh, uh, God. Uh, yeah, about Billy Gold Scuff. Uh, Billy Gold's Bluff. Uh, not only is it a pun, but it's also an area that we technically can go to right now. But it has a lot of really, really strong familiar. So just make sure that you're ready. You know, just make sure that you're ready. You know, you know, just make sure. So, because of the impending doom that we're apparently going to face, I'm going to try to make sure that we can make some things. Uh, you know what? I might as well make some game pie. Uh, what else can we make? Well, I know for a fact that we can make at least one thing. Oh, shadow glass shield. Okay. We can make that. Uh, did we actually make the royal spear yet? Yeah, we did. Okay, thank God. <laughs> thank God. So, we can actually make the Shadow Glass uh, shield, no problem. Alright, uh, what else can we make? Uh, well, we, I know for a fact that we can already make these. I mean, even though they do increase Familiar Stamina, that defense increase, that's basically outdated at this point. Uh, we can't make anything else, though, new at the moment, so... Ooh, yeah. And it's at this point where I might as well get some accessories for people. So, I'm gonna get me some steel scales. Because, contrary to what the, equip the equipment screen might bring you, yes, you can equip these. Because that's just the best that the game can apparently do. And really, steel scales are basically all I need. Because they will increase defense. Uh, uh, where are the... Oh, that's a patches, of course. <laughs> of course, I don't even have the... I don't even have the patches to even do that. No. <laughs> I know there's one uh, familiar that I know for a fact that I can trust for that. But, nah. I apparently can't do that. Eh, too late for that anyway. Uh, this one needs patches, and you need patches. Of course you can. But, but thankfully, our characters can equip, you know, more than one thing at a time. Uh, but let's see, though. Uh, Oliver, I kind of need the, uh... Actually, no, it's just one decrease. Why not? Uh, Esther, I don't really particularly care for that. I just need her to be defense. Swain, you can get rid of that. And put on this. So all that wasn't for nothing. It definitely wasn't for nothing. And now for the creature cage. We have a lot of stuff. Alright, the Red Triangle is where I am on the map right now. Western Autumnia is where I am. And up this path is Billy Goat's Bluff. Again, it's a pun, so it fits into this world. Now, uh, as this is a region that we can't that we don't ha necessarily have to go to until, you know, much, much, much later on, this place is going to be a little bit dangerous for you. And those familiars technically weren't spawned in there before. During practice. Why is that a thing? I don't even know. But what I do know... 
is that this is a particularly dangerous bounty hunt that we're going to be going after. So we have Dual Links and the Aurora Lynxes. Those Aurora Lynxes' job is to just basically be the healers. So my only advice for you is just to take them out as fast as they can because the Aurora Lynxes can cast Healing Rain. And we all know what Healing Rain does. It heals up everybody in in the in either your party or the enemy's party, depending on who uses it. So you just want to make sure that you deal with the Aurora Lynxes right away so that that the dual links won't be able to heal heal you up. Or heal not heal you up! Yes, the dual links can heal you. Yes, that is exactly my point. That is exactly my point. It's, it's clearly an enemy that exists to help you out, not hinder you. In any shape or form. But the point being that, you know, just go after the Aurora Lynxes first. Do all-out attacks if you have to. I don't really particularly remember if the Duel Lynx has anything, you know, particularly dangerous. Other than the fact that my familiars aren't really suited up for defense. Probably, but... You know, can't hurt to try, right? Can't absolutely hurt to try. Alright, so all that's left to deal with is the Duel Links. Now, uh, Esther, baby, can I get a heal, please? Can I get a heal, please? Or anyone else. If they even have... That. Also, Light of Light. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay. Okay, so here's what I actually ended up doing. Um, in practice, I actually ended up just taking out the Duel Links right away. Instead of just going after the Aurora Lynxes. But, that was probably a bad idea on my end. Because, now that I know, now that I know that, uh... No, that would just be a waste of a cheeseburger. That's just a waste of the cheeseburger. Actually, no, it isn't. Because Duel Links isn't really attacking me. It's just sort of just waiting. It waits. Your dad waits. Okay. So the Duel Links doesn't really do anything particularly special. Well, if I remember. Because I just ended up going after the Duel Links right away. And took out the Aurora Lynxes. But it ended up actually being a much harder fight than I envisioned. Maybe it's because I rotated out familiars a little bit too early, I guess. Before I actually intended on doing it. But, whatever the case. Up here you can forge for a star crystal. And, uh... If I can actually show this... Um, actually, wait. Is there a... Well, I know for a fact that I think there are... I think... Uh, no. No, 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 no. I don't want you, Cornelius... Cornelius Sr. No. <laughs> I don't want you. Or anybody else interrupting me for the moment. Thank you. Okay. So there are hidden chests here. And let's see. Uh, on this mountain... Oh. Cool. Cool, that's... <laughs> that's where I thought it was. And it has to be in the area where that enemy is. Good. Good. Don't really want to fight any of the enemies here because they are really, really strong. They are pretty, really strong. And I ended up fighting them anyway. Flora Burrows and Mighty Might. So you can get yourself a Mighty Might here. If, well, well, actually, you know you, you know you already have a Mighty Might. However... However, if you want to get a Mighty Might for any of your other party members, then you can go right ahead and do that. It proved to be really good for me. So it might be good for another party member that might like them. Meaning just Oliver. But what I actually want to do is just to run away. Because I really don't want to... I really seriously don't want to just die here and just... Oh, God. And Esther's dead, so that's also really cool. And uh, you can probably manage Swain. 
Should have gotten that reward. Should have gotten that reward that lowers the cost of a game over. Although, if Swing can run away. Yes! Moving on, yo. <laughs> and thankfully, thankfully, the enemies that you run into disappear should you run away. Because that, that hidden chest contains Phoenix Breath, which is an extremely valuable item. Phoenix Breath restores consciousness and full HP to all allies. That's really, really good. Really, really good. And there are, and they are exceptionally rare. So you pretty much want to find one and just be, you know, saving it for when you really, 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 really need it. Now, I know that we're not going to go to the, to Paradita quite yet. But, what I do want to do is, there's an, there's an enemy here that I really, really hope shows up. And we got two power stone. And it's not here. I think for, I think I know that it appears here. So this actually leads me into a little bit of a trick that you can do. If you need to find a hard to find enemy, like the dinosauruses at the genie steps uh, and shimmering sands, just use gateway. Use Gateway to go to and from, you know, Nino Kuni. Which is basically the official name of the place. And, uh... Should you find it? You'll be able to find it. And on the overworld, you'll just end up at the place where you, you know, first entered from. So that's cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't really show up. I don't think it'll show up here. So I'm going to try for a few more minutes. If I can find it, then cool. Then if not, then I'll just leave it at that and I'll just move on. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay. All right. So this familiar is interesting. So what we have here is a Toko Toko. You want to beat it. You want to beat it up. Just beat it up as fast as you can. Okay, uh, does Esther have enough? No. Uh, does Oliver have enough MP for a really strong attack, though? That's the thing. I'm gonna try it. And target you and get the Phantom Fangs up. Okay, so... This enemy is particularly special. Because if should you defeat it in time, then like unlike what I did. Or does it actually stay? I don't know if it does. But uh hey, hey, ass okay, never mind. Okay, so that familiar is particularly really, really special. Because if you defeat it in battle really quick before it runs away, you get loads of experience. Like, a load, a load of experience. Like a boss worth of experience. So, because of that, the Toko Toko is one of the most sought after things ever. Plus, there's also the fact that it's a familiar that you can actually catch. And. Yeah, should you beat it, like, really, really quickly, you get a lot of experience. But if you don't, then you don't. And speaking of which... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expected to actually defeat... <laughs> I probably could have done so. I probably should have healed up Esther. I probably should have, but... Eh. I guess not. Uh, does another... Will another one show up, though? That's the thing. Because I seem to remember that, uh... These guys are infinitely respawning. They aren't like those really, really rare familiars that... You know, only appear once and then never again. 
I guess I'll find out, like, off-screen and just show you how much experience I get with the picture. But with that, we've done our bounties. That should have been worth more on Billy Goat's Bluff. The Bewitched by a Beast one. That really should have been more. Like, <laughs> like all these other ones that we've been doing, they're worth six merit stamps. Seriously, six. And it's just, why? Why is it just not? I have no idea. But what I do know is that we don't really have... We don't really have much more to do in the way of side quests anyway. Because of the fact that, you know, we still have these pieces of heart to do. And, uh, I know I did promise that I would do a, this side quest 58. Like, in this video. But I probably wanted to focus more on the bounty hunts anyway. So, we're probably going to do that last before we head off to... You know, search for the stones and whatnot. So, yeah. This is just this is just a whole bunch of things that have opened up since getting Tangri and having the ability to search for the three Infinity Chaos Emeralds. So, it's, it's definitely something. It's definitely something that will keep us occupied for a little bit. But, we are done. Next time on Nino Kuni... I think we're actually just going to go around and see what other hidden chests that we can find. And trust me, there's a lot. There is definitely a lot of them, believe me, and they take, like, forever. But I'm probably just going to do it in, like, like a freaking montage or whatever. Because, you know, there is, like, well more than 10. Actually, maybe more than 20. No, no, no. Well more than, like, 30 of them that I probably did, but, you know, it's fine. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows what I'm going to do about the hidden chests. But either way, we're probably going to finish up our side questing rounds. Then we're going to head off to search for the stones. I always have to say stones like that. I like saying stones like that. Stones! Okay, see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.